Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Underrail. Well, guess what? Haven't played in a while, and right away I noticed something tremendous. They have overhauled the UI, it is bigger, many of the icons have gotten graphical changes and tweaks, uh, the crafting symbol, like a lot of these buttons are just altogether different, and now I can play at 4K, uh, with a good UI and just use make full use of my monitor with no problems and I'm just 100% thrilled about that you guys should be able to see this just fine um, in terms of the sizing of everything and this is just a delight it's an absolute delight everything is bigger easier to read I mean look at my inventory I feel so fortunate to have this it looks cleaned up it looks just it's amazing that the game is still changing after all this time. Uh, and it's only taken me forever to uh, make my, my way through it, so it, I guess that makes sense. But anyway, um, we're going to go sneak in and try to do some more pirate stealth action if we can. Rob has given me the great tip about not killing the guy in the boat uh, because he's not really affiliated with the pirates necessarily and can sell me some uh, powerful stuff. Uh, oddities perhaps so I don't want to kill him if things go south uh, but as Jean-Luc was pointing out I think I can maybe get lucky and stealth some more or see if we can replicate our success at the lighthouse so let's go all right I'm gonna walk up here and um, yeah this is, I think this is the boat that's not like the pirate boat that maybe is like the scrapper guy or whatever. So we're going to just kind of see what we can do coming around this corner. There's a dead hermit crab here. And then there's the ferryman. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's the ferryman. That's not... Um, anyway, not somebody I necessarily need to be afraid of. Look at the cliff massive buildings used to occupy this cliff face now everything above the ground level is gone but scattered support structures reminiscent of broken bones protruding from a mutilated body that's that's bad um, this isn't the nexus of technology but this is another area of the nft compound that was bombarded by cortec it looks like um, okay. Um, alright. Trap detected, yep. That's typical pirate, pirate fare. Let me just save it. Boy, even the new saving icon with a cool picture of a hard disk. Love it. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Here's the gate. Let's see what we can do here. This is, uh... Kate, yeah. All right, so we're deep within pirate life here. I'm even going to save it again. I, I don't want to botch this. So can I open this? Yes. Okay. Boy, this seems so tricky to do what I want to do here. I have no idea where to go. Um, but we're going to get away from her. That's for sure. Okay, and there there appears to be nothing we can do over here. There's some fishing. There's a guard there. Okay. So she kind of makes her way back and forth. Let's see if there's uh, anything in here. There's a dog over there. Anybody in here? No. Not, not that I can see. And there's a trap door. God, can that give me some sneakiness? Oh, by the way, I'm going to take everything they've got. Pickled mine shrooms. Oh, psionic critical damage by 40%. These are really good. Yeah, take all that food. Anything else you got in here? Wow, these new icons are just... I'm loving this. I'm going to keep, like, you know, oozing about all this stuff for some time because it's awesome. And we'll pick the lock. And what do we got? We got, uh, oh, look at this. It's actually a new psionic ability for telekinetic grounding. This device can be used to automatically teach yourself telekinetic grounding. Great. 
Um, an advanced patching kit or 10. Okay, so first of all, we'll just go ahead and use this. And I'm going to patch up... Um, oh, sure. Patch up my coat. How much does this patch? 500? Okay. Well, the coat's at full strength then. That was a little bit of overkill, but that's great. Um, we need to go back into stealth. Let's not fumble the ball where we are. Let me save it. And I'm going to actually save it on a new file. This is going to be called um, new. And we're going to save it here. And it's going to be called Pirate Sneaky. So hopefully, you know, if I have to, we can get out of here. Now, this looks like the, the bad way to go. Let me just see what's down here if we take the, the catacombs approach. What do we get down here? All right, well, that appears to be a dead end of sorts. What is this? Oh, this looks above me. Oh, there's like an, not an irrigation, but there's like a, like a sewer system or something here. Interesting, but I can't, I don't, oh, you can climb up over here. Wow, curious, okay. So if the game has designed itself, and knowing how well crafted this is, I wouldn't put it past it, to be, where I can actually use this as a, a sneaking alternative. Like, if I can climb up here and sneak around, this is going to be tremendous. All right, climb up. And where are we at? All right. Okay. Yeah, because this is the door I was at. But... I think trying to go through past these pit bulls is not going to be wise or possible even. So this is a way to maybe get to the next screen here. Somewhat alive. Okay, we're going to just walk past that guy. Okay, and then there's baddies there. Can we sneak up into here? Can I get past you? No, he's coming. He's coming fast and furious. Oh my god. Let me run away from this guy. How far over is he coming? He goes back there, and then he goes back, but he's done. What about you? All right, he's going in a circle. Okay. Um, how do I want to do this? I, I kind of want to get into this room, maybe. Hmm. God, I really don't know what I want to do. Or maybe I want to run over here. I don't know. Let's go over here. Let's try to time this right. Okay. There's that guy. Okay, so here's like the battleship thing. Oh, here comes somebody. Oh my god, he's coming so fast. Do I want to go this way? Let me see what we got. Alright. Oh, it looks like the ferryman is gone. Looks like he pulled up and left. So that's cool. Um, okay, we're going to go through here. Don't want to get spotted by that guy. Now, I do have my um, cloaking device. But I don't see how in any way I would be able to... Uh, sneak past this guy. It just doesn't seem possible. So I'm going to have to pray that... there's another way because that this way is just not it we'll go down here and this guy is here that's fine let's just move past him we can go in here anything in here there's a safe oh let's see if the professor is somehow inside the safe it makes sense why wouldn't he be He wasn't, but there's bullets. Just so many bullets. Okay. What else is over here? Shelves. Yeah, that's a disappointment. A footlocker with a singular lockpick. That's not good. What's this? Back to where we were, right? Oh, God. Go out of here. That guy almost spotted us. Right, we got to run. Alright, there's dudes over here with huge guns. 
So that doesn't look promising. And here comes this guy again. Run away. Can I sneak behind this guy? That would be an interesting attempt. I mean, he's facing the other direction. Do I have a prayer of making it past that guy? Yes. I just walk behind him carefully. Can I get to the boat from this side? Uh, okay, that didn't work. Yeah, he, he just wrecked me. Okay. I don't think getting into the boat is going to be a thing. It just doesn't seem possible. I'm going to have to explore other alternatives here. Well, what if I went through that tunnel? What does that have for me? Anything? Can I come back around here? Let's just see. Nah, it doesn't look good. Where does he go? He goes way out of sight. Okay, let's try to go back to that dart room. Play some darts. We're good at darts. Phenomenal at darts. Man. These these pirates being into lockpicking is totally my style. Um, Alright, that sells really well. That does too, but it's too heavy. Okay, let's see. Here comes a bad guy. Okay, so... Uh, let's see. Oh my god. And let's just wait for this guy to pass by. And see if we can go up this way. Alright, there's somebody over there with a hammer. Oh my god. That's not good. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, this is a death trap. I am doing such bad work by going this way. But I made it. I was able to walk over here anyway. Okay. Um, these people haven't seen me yet. The dog is about to. So I'm just gonna run. And they see me. And um, before I die, let me just take a look at this. Now, I don't think there's anything great over here that I want to get to. Maybe this section with the explosives, but um, also maybe not. Uh, do, 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 do. Where did I have this saved? This one? Yeah, this one. Okay. Right, I'm just going to run past this guy and go over here and see what's in here. Okay, there's a person. They may have seen me. They ran away. All right, let's close that up. We're deep in the living quarters here. Uh, okay. Uh, what's over here? Got some kind of cave system. Okay. Well, I don't think anyone's seen me. I'm going to keep sneaking. There's definitely people here. But what about over here? What's over here? Alright, let's just kind of see. Oh, boy. I can open this pretty easily. And I'll just run over here and let that... Who's this guy? Pirate Sprayer, Stomper, and Pinner. I love their names. Okay, I'm gonna um, save it again, just in some kind of crazy location. And try to figure out where do I wanna go? This room looks pretty promising, honestly. Okay, no. Alright. Anybody in here? There's a uh, volatile fuse box I could attack uh, if I was feeling like it. What is this? What's upstairs? You know what? If this dude is anywhere, he's probably downstairs, right? But let's just check. Oh my god. Probably in the basement, like in the prison. Oh my god, I found him. Oh no, I got caught. Well, it was so good for a second. Like that, I didn't realize that they were going to come down the stairs, but oh, we found somebody here. Let me load it right here. Oh my goodness. This is promising. 
take me down. Yep, go down. And then... Um, unlock the cell. Hurry. No, no, no. Darn. Don't... That's kind of lame that talking to the guy breaks your stealth. Okay, now I know. You should be able to, like, whisper from the shadows. Professor, it's me. Alright, let's see this. Let's see if I have any chance of getting this to work. I might have to just kill this guy who's down here and then kill nobody else. I don't know if that works or not. Um, oh, he went that way? Bah! What are the chances that that jerk decided to go over to that little corner that I was trying to hide in? Okay. Let me save it when I get downstairs so I don't have to keep doing this. Alright, come on, buddy. Alright, I'm going to try to save it on a new file that we're just going to call Sneaking Out. What appropriate, huh? Um, okay. So the professor can see me. Oh god, he can maybe see me. Um, let me see what the manhole... There's a manhole... Um, I don't know. He's got me. I'm looking for, like, something to interact with. Oh, I have to just open the door. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to do right now is a little bit maybe bizarre, but I'm just going to uh, just kill this guy. And see if just taking down one dude will aggro all of the pirates. Or if I need to come back to this point and completely, you know, sneak the, the professor out. All right. What's up, professor? We did it. What does this guy have? He has, uh, he has the rusty key, the cell key, um, and this, and he's got, like, a utility belt and whatever. Uh, let's go talk to the professor. By the caverns, at last, at last. Um, no time to lose, professor. We're going through that manhole. Plug your nose and follow me. Um, okay, so that's what we have to do, uh, is, is apparently go through the manhole. All right, so I'm going to open this. And we're going to just jump in. Hopefully, did the professor make it? Hey, he made it. I don't know if we got... That guy saw us at the very last second. Um. Boy, I don't know. He saw... This guy saw us. And if this guy seeing us at the very last second means that... Um, the pirates are now aggressive toward us. I can't take that risk, so I'm going to have to reload it. I just want to see if I can do it this way, kill only one, and make it out of here. Um, and not... And, like, be able to just talk to the pirates without having to fight them all in the future. I don't know. Go, Professor. Alright, they didn't see me that time. So there was no sound of combat. So I'm going to say um, sneaking out is going to be the save for, like, going back to if I want to try it in pure stealth. And then I'm going to make a new save that's called um, Professor Murder Escape. Seems, seems like a good title. Professor Murder Escape. Makes sense. Alright, and let's talk to him. Let's go. They could be right behind us. Actually, you're right. They could be. Uh, there's a bunch of horrifying um, things. Man, I wonder if I could have just snuck through this wherever this was. Oh, it's a hermit crab. Hilarious. And by hilarious, I mean um, not funny at all tedious nightmare okay that guy didn't seem to be too 
put off by the fact that I did that. I'll use this. Um, I'll use this. And we'll wait till the end of the turn. And let's see. So I need to kill this guy. Man, he's not taking damage. What is this thing? Thrasher? What a... What an absolute jerk. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to walk over here. And I'm going to throw um, this on you. Okay, that almost killed him. He's chilled, so I don't know if he's going to be able to actually make it over to me. No, he couldn't. Ooh, clawed up can opener. Look at this. Three experience from this oddity? Jackpot. Well, thank you, Thrasher. He was really hard, but I'll take the just massive amounts of experience. Um, now, this, please, Professor, don't step into poison gas. You know how many difficulties I've had with that in the past? Don't do it. I did it. My character did it. Um, I've been contaminated, but that's about it. Okay. Now, I. Oh, my God. Okay. Sorry, Professor. You're not catching me at my best here. Um. How much time do I have left? This is going to take wood. Alright, I think I can get to here, and then can we just do this, like, right at your feet? Is this going to hit you? Oh god, yeah, it's going to hit you. Excellent work, Plasma Beam. Alright, since I'm not stealthing anymore, I am going to put on... Um, just my chemical assault armor. Give me a little bit of boost. Alright, and... Professor, where did you go? Okay. Well, they're just jumping out of the water at us, aren't they? Okay. One, two, three, four, over. Okay, I'm going to step here, and then I am going to just uh, plasma beam you. And I'll aim for your feet, if that's possible. Okay, we did hit it. And we'll just um, hit you with that. Okay, you're dead. Okay, I'm going to wait for my psionics to fill back up. And we're actually going to need to huff some ether here. I just can't express my gratitude enough to the developers for increasing the size of the UI. Uh, especially for a bigger um, resolution like this. I'm going to turn on my shield. I fully expect another one of those things to jump out. There's the professor. We made it. Um... One moment, I'll call Chief Briggs. Yeah, let me call Chief Briggs. Can he pick him up? Because I don't know where my jet ski is. I don't even know where I am. Where in God's name am I on this map? Uh, they usually outline it with a orange box. Where am I? I'm on this tile. I think my jet ski is over here. So I'm nowhere near my own jet ski. Um, that's a problem. So let's go ahead and radio in some help. Select a channel. Chief Briggs. I found a professor. Need extraction. Over. Where's your location? On a small island at E4. Um, over. Now it says I'll contact you as I find a suitable extraction point. This seems okay. Hopefully they can make it. 
I made it. Good to see you again, Professor. All right, get him out of here. Now, please don't leave me here. Oh, they take me out. Thank you. It's over. It is finally over. Glad to have you back, Professor. The Chief turns to you. The austerity in his eyes, while still present, lacks the razor-sharp edge it used to have. The Professor is back with us. Well done, Dr. Incompetent. Hey, Chief, you know. But the danger is not over yet. You must excuse me. I need to get back to my sec troopers. Before leaving, he hands you a key to a jet ski. You earned it. Oh, he gives me a, a sweet jet ski? Okay. Um, but what about the expensive one that I bought? Um, professor? Doctor Incompetent? Wait for him to leave. And what? Oh, did I get some experience that leveled me up? It looks like I just leveled up. Goodness me, I really could use some rest. This has been a long day. Um, then I'll leave you to it, Professor. Rest well. There is something, if it's not a bother. No, no, no go ahead. Um, I have a report to make about the Nexus of Technology, a large research center. Um, I hate to lay it on him after we just rescued him, but we need defenses right away. After listening to you with great interest, only occasionally interjecting with various exclamations of surprise and awe, the professor shares his thoughts. Goodness me, that is marvelous indeed. Your descent down the elevator shaft, turning on the power, exploring the floors, all of it, truly incredible. And the fact that you managed to upgrade your microchip's implant clearance level with that... What did you say the device was called? Microchip encoder. Ah, yes, microchip encoder. That clearance level will certainly prove to be of great use. T uh, certainly. Excellent work. See Marcus about your well-earned bonus. I'll contact you as soon as I have a new task for you. Um, okay, uh, I could talk to him more, but I'm going to let him rest, and I'll talk to him about it later. We got two experience, which is exactly what we needed to level up, I think. Or maybe just one, but either way. Fantastic. And we got an Aegis Patroller key, which I think is a jet ski card. Um, fantastic. So we got, like, a better jet ski. So I'll have to go check that one out. I'm going to go up here. And I'm just going to hide in this for a second. And we're going to level ourselves up. Because, amazing. We're level 23. How about that? And what I'm going to do is... Um, hey, I'm going to keep pumping stealth. Because uh, that's stealth, stealth just basically saved me throughout that entire process. I, of course I'm going to do my psionics. Just max them out as per usual. Um, Alright, fine. A little bit there. That's fine. And then we're going to go back over to throwing. And let's see. Stealth. Yep. Now I have some points to kick around. And what do I want to spend these points in, right? I think I'm going to just keep going with throwing so I'm a little bit better, I'm more accurate with grenades and the like. I could go into electronics, but I don't know if it's necessary. I don't know if there's something I'm just not able to craft that I'm really frustrated about. I think the idea of throwing is, is just fine. Um, and we got a specialization. Um, what does this do? Future Orientation lessens the action point increase by one for each specialization point. Yeah, that's pretty good, but um, I've been enjoying my damage on Telekinetic Punch just for, like, annihilating people uh, as my main kill. And so I think I'll just keep going there and accept that and be really, really happy. Fantastic. So we saved the professor. We got a new jet ski. We leveled up. And uh, we told him about the nexus of technology. And we perhaps um, gave us 
we got some more things that we can do. Uh, oh, you know what? Uh, I believe that Jean-Luc was saying that I could go talk to the Naga protector statues and use my technology on them to maybe, like, turn them on for help with the island, but I don't know if uh, it's a good idea or not. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm apparently holding a pistol in my hand. Oh, I'm holding the Sonicaster in my hand. Hilarious. I'm going to go back to the fist just to give myself the strength bonus. Uh, this is the one right here. Let's interact with this. And um, examine the statue. The dilapidated statue hides in it a machine designed for a much greater purpose than just decoration and illumination. Upon further inspection, you find two access panels on its body, hidden behind easily removable pieces of damaged armor. One is at the statue's lower back, the other is at the back of its head. Um, open the head panel, and you see a flat circular casting the size of a hopper's head made of super steel and containing what is most likely the statue's electronic brain. Underneath it, you see eight ports of various shapes and sizes ordered in two rows of four, having thin dust covers. You could try connecting to one of these devices. I have it. Use my configuration tool. You bring out the tool that has several adapters of various shapes slotted into its side. One of these matches the second port in the first row, so you detach it from the device, attach it to the end of the retractable cable, and finally plug it into the port. The device boosts up boots up, welcoming you after a brief please wait lists numerous options for you to go through. As interesting and potentially educational as it might be to investigate them all, you focus on what you deem the most important, the, the Naga's AI. The device grants you the access to the AI, then you slowly begin inspecting the various subsystems in order to learn who has been des uh, designated as a statue's friend and who is the foe. And so you stumble upon the code responsible for just that, C-I-D-F-F, -F, Combat Identification Friend or Foe. The way these are determined is highly complex and rely on visual input, presence of implement, uh, implanted microchips in detected objects, their behavior, and a plethora of other factors, but there are also a few preset categories which can override the statue's reasoning, one of them being BioCore Armed Forces. Considering that the tool makes modifying the code surprisingly intuitive and easy to work with, you define your friends and your foes and categorize them properly so that they become the statues as well. You finish your work and disconnect the tool. Hopefully you did everything right and the statue doesn't vaporize you upon activation. All right, cool. We did it. So now it should help us fight the natives um, and pr not hurt us, theoretically. Awesome. All right, so now we got a statue on our side and we got the professor back. And this is a great place to end the episode. Maybe someday I can get this plasma turret turned on as well. Um, I hope you all have an excellent evening or day. And I'll check you guys next time. By the way, if you're looking for a good science fiction book to read, as this is a science fiction game or a board game to play, I do have some recommendations in the description below that you might be interested in of games and books that I enjoy. Take care, everybody.